Hello friends, my name is Prasad and welcome back to Adda Desi. In today's episode of University Life, we are going to talk about a university that has been requested by many of our subscribers. This university is University of Dayton in Ohio. But before we move forward, let me get done with my usual request. If you like the work we do, then please consider subscribing to our channel. This is completely free for you guys, but it will help us a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And it will also motivate us to make such informative videos in the future. Now that aside, let's start with the application requirements. There are total six application requirements in University of Dayton. First, an online application, which is completely free. Second, an official transcripts. Third, letter of recommendation. Fourth, statement of purpose. Fifth, a resume. And sixth, an English proficiency test, that is your IELTS, TOEFL or PT score. Minimum English score requirements are as follows. For TOEFL, it is 80. For IELTS, it's 6.5. And for PT, it's 60. The average TOEFL score for a computer science admit is around 91. Next, let's talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. I'll take a computer science course as an example to talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. If you need specifics about your program, you can comment below and I will definitely reply to that. To complete graduation, one needs to complete a minimum of 30 course credits. This can take at least 24 months or 4 semesters. The tuition fees for an out-of-state or international student is around $1,055 per credit. So the total tuition fees for an entire course for out-of-state or international student is around $31,650. One thing to note here is that this is just an estimate and tuition fees keeps on changing each semester. Next, let's check out the housing cost. But before that, if you haven't already liked our video, then please smash that like button. Off-campus housing offers affordable options, so many graduate students prefer off-campus housing. You can visit our website addadc.com and find many such off-campus housing options. The average rent for an entire 2-bed or 2-bath apartment can stand around $1,000 to $1,500 per month. And the average rent for per person can be around $500 to $700 per month. The average monthly utility bill is around $80 to $120 per person. You can also join our special Facebook housing group for University of Data and connect with other interested students. This link is in the description below. Next, let's talk about the transportation. University of Data runs free shuttle service for all their students with a valid student ID. Students can use this public, uh, public bus service which has university stops. The nearest international airport would be Dayton International Airport which is just 15 miles away from the university. Next, let's talk about on-campus jobs. University of Dayton has an online job portal powered by Handshake for an on-campus job applications. You can directly apply in this portal using your resume. Interested students can work around 20 hours per week during fall and spring semesters and work more than 20 hours during summer and vacation periods. The average pay could be around $11 to $15 per hour. Some of the pros of pursuing masters at University of Dayton are as follows. First, quality education. The University of Dayton is known for quality education and offer a range of programs in various fields. Second, cost of living. The cost of living is much affordable compared to other big metro cities in the United States. Third, campus facility. The, this campus has modern facilities, libraries and resources for students. Fourth, diversity. You will have the opportunity to interact with a diverse student body and population. But there are some downsides too. The, the cons of these universities are as follows. First, tuition cost. Tuition for international students can be expensive for some students and the scholarship may be limited. Second, competition. Some programs may have a competitive ad admission process. Be sure to research them. Ultimately, the decision to attend University of Dayton for a master's can be vary on individual preferences. So it's a good idea to reach out to current and current students or alumni to get more detailed understanding of what to expect. At the end, as always, I would like to wish you all the very best for all your future endeavors. Please like, subscribe and comment to our channel. And also don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram using the link in the description. Thank you.